thrills. Today's video, we are gonna be going over. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's so cool. This was a dumb idea. You're watching Nighthawk Films. Have fun. Good morning, everyone. You're watching Nighthawk News. Today is Saturday, June 13th. And I am your host, Ian Allen. And today we are going to be going over everything that has been happening on Nighthawk's channel or pretty much everything that Nighthawk has been up to in the past couple weeks. So let's take it away. Today, we're going to be diving into what Nighthawk has been doing on his channel for the past couple days slash weeks. We'll also be explaining what he does or show, showing what he does in his spare time when he's not on YouTube. But before we begin, we need to address the elephant in the room in the top corner. So, this is an actual live, well not live, but it's a counter of Nighthawk's subscriber count and views. The subscriber count is at 110. Nighthawk hit about 100 subscribers on May 7th, and it, it has been going up, but very slowly. Granted, he's already at 110, and it's not going down, so in my opinion, that's still pretty good. But, if you look at his view count, it's 9,600. Last time I checked, it was 9,661. So, we need to change this to 9,661. I've heard that his goal is to try and get 10,000 views on his channel by June 27th because June 27th is when his channel will be on YouTube for two years. He did say he wanted to get 110 subscribers and 10,000 views on his channel before that, so he already has one of them down. He just needs to get the other one. Granted, he has about, I'd say, a week or so left to try and get that goal. So. From what I heard, we have some cool ping pong trick shots that Nighthawk has been doing in his spare time, and I'm not sure exactly which ones they are called, but I'm going to try and do my best to figure out which ones they are, or at least get an idea of which ones they are. You'll probably be able to figure it out pretty easily once you see the videos. So the first trick shot that Nighthawk has stated that he's doing is known as the nightstand shot. Basically what he does is he stands on the other side of his bed and puts, I think, an Avengers Endgame cup on the other side of his night on the other side of his bed where his nightstand is. So basically, here's the clip. Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome to something new I'm gonna be trying. Um, since we're all stuck in quarantine, we got nothing else better to do. And well, they're saying some things are opening up, but not many of the fun things people really want to do. So I've decided to try doing something called ping pong trick shots. This is going to be ping pong trick shots room edition. Um, I'm going to be placing this Avengers Endgame cup all throughout my room and trying to do different, you know, hits. Um, but before we start doing anything with the uh, racket, um, I'm just going to try and simply toss it in there. See, I suck. So that's why we're using the ping pong paddle to see if we can hit it from a longer distance. So. Luckily, all of this is going to be cut out. <clears throat> and hopefully, I can make a few of these trick shots. Or it'll just hit the camera. <laughs> Went in, it went into the cup, but the cup fell over. If the cup falls over, you gotta do it again. That's the rule here. I'll, ne I'll never be able to do that again. I'll never be able to do that again. That was too good. I mean, that, that was perfect. That was per- it just- it went in and- oh god. It did go in. It did go in, but- Oh, that one sucked. Oh, that one sucked. oh god. Nope. Oh, dear lord.
Okay, I knew this was gonna take a while, but even still. <clears throat> How many of you guys would actually like to see the full video of this? Because there will be bloopers. is terrible. Some of you are probably saying just go back to use the ping pong paddle. This is the ninth fan shot. I hate this. This is the ninth fan shot. It moved the damn cup. Oh my god, I'm gonna go insane. But right after I make the nightstand shot. This is the nightstand shot. Are you kidding me? I finally made it, baby! Woo! That, that last shot looked like it was pretty hard to make. I heard it took him about 34, 33 minutes to do, which, granted, it seems like a lot, but it's, it, can, it can be harder than you think. Doing trick shots is not as easy. Anyway, the next one that he has supposedly said he did is known as the trophy stand shot, which is basically where he put an event, the same Avengers Endgame cup by his trophy stand, or by his trophies, and stood at the other end of the wall trying to toss it into the, toss it in there. So, here's the clip. This is the trophy stand shot. This is the trophy stand shot. This is the trophy stand shot. This is... This is the trophy stand shot. Nope. This is the trophy stand shot. That last shot seemed to be pretty difficult. I mean, granted, it didn't go in the way he wanted it to, but it still bounced in, so it still counts. So, um, hang on. Getting a call. Hello? Ah, okay. You ready to shoot? Okay. Got it. So, that was one of our uh, helpers that has been doing some exercise videos, and he is going to be introduced in today's episode. So, I'm going to head on into that, and uh, you'll be able to see what he does when he, ex when he exercises pretty much every day. But here we go. Hello, everyone. This is Nighthawk here, and today we're going to be doing our workout segment for today's uh, you know, video, I got called in to do it, and we're going to be doing our workout segment. So, uh, for the past, uh, I'd say two weeks, I've been doing something with my 10-pound weights, and what I would be doing is I would be obviously lifting them for about a minute straight, and every week I add 30 seconds onto it. So, since I've already done it for two weeks now, I'm already at two minutes. So, I got a 10-pound weights, because they always say, it only depends on how much weight you use. It doesn't, well, no, not necessarily. It doesn't matter how, no, scratch that. It doesn't matter how much weight you use. It matters how many, like, reps you do. So, uh, last time I checked, I was able to do about 40 arm rep, or arm curls in a minute and 30 seconds. So we are going to see how much I can do 
in two minutes. And start. One, two, three. It's always important to breathe. Six, seven, Because the more you do, 10 pounds can feel like 100 or 50. How many was that? 20? 21. 22. We're already at a minute. 23. Five. Oh god. 26. 27. 28. 29. Five seconds left. One, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, nine. And that's time. Okay, so I was able to do about 40 reps in about two minutes. Um, the, whole, the whole point of this exercise, because I do this every day, the whole point of this exercise is to continue getting stronger and being able to lift more or do more reps every single day. That's the whole point. So, uh, that was a pretty good segment. So, okay, this is me not flexing whatsoever. Nothing, no, not flexing at all. Now, after doing those 40 reps, that's me flexing. And obviously, it's working. I mean, I've been lifting weights since I was probably like 12 or 13, so yeah, it's gonna help. So I'm gonna send it back to the desk and we're gonna be continuing on with the video. See you next time. After doing those exercises, it seems like he's, he's gonna get pretty big. <laughs> that's not just my opinion. But um, other than that, let's move on with the last three trick shots. He made five, I think in one day, so I'm pretty sure the next trick shot he said that he made was known as the blind eye. It was originally called the through the desk shot, the bounce back, and the no looker. Eventually he changed it to the blind eye, and now he's just trying to, he's just trying to throw a ping pong ball into a cup. Here we go. This is the bounce back. It's the bounce back trick shot. This is the bounce back trick shot. This is the bounce back trick shot. No! Don't fall! This is the blind eye. 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 I heard that last shot was 
pretty difficult at times because every time he tried to do the bounce back shot, doing you know, throwing it back and forth, it didn't quite work as well as he thought. Then when he did the no looker, it just sounded weird whenever he said it. So he decided to change it to the blind eye and just make it a little bit easier. Now, if he did it with his eyes closed, that would have been cooler, in my opinion, though. The next shot that he made was known as the corner shot. Basically, what he would do is he would put the cup in the corner of his room, and he would have the camera facing the cup, but he'd also be throwing the ball behind him so he'd be able to see if he could do it, you know, behind his back. So, here's the clip. This is the corner shot. Corner shot. This is the corner shot. This one might be pretty, this one look kind of, looks kind of easy, but then again, you're throwing it backwards and you can't really see it, so we're gonna have to use that as a type of guide. So, this is the corner shot. This is the corner shot. This is the corner shot. Damn! I didn't think this one was gonna be that hard. This is the corner shot. Okay, for starters, if I were to look at it, I still can't do it. Yeah, I am looking at it and I, st and I still can't do it. So doing it backwards is even harder. This is the corner shot. Woo! Now you'd think that that one was probably gonna be an easy one. It took a while for him to do it. I think he said it took maybe about 10, 15 minutes. Because again, not all trick shots are able to you know, be achieved in one go. It does take some time. Now, if you make a trick shot in, in one shot, that you're just lucky. There's no way you can do it again. It's, it, it, it doesn't, no, it, you can't do more than one trick. I mean, you can do multiple trick shots, but you can't, it takes practice. You gotta do a bunch of practice and stuff. So other than that, let's move on to our final and apparently the easiest trick shot that he was able to do, which took him three tries. This was known as the desk shot. He put a cup in the middle of his desk and just stood by the corner of his door and just tossed it in. Here's the clip. This is the desk shot. Oh, we're in for a long one. I can tell you that. This is the desk shot. This is the desk shot. That's what I'm talking about! So, even though that was a pretty easy shot to make, all he had to do was just put the cup on his desk and toss it in there, he still had to figure out how he was going to throw it though. So, even though it took him three tries, he just got lucky. So, after all everything we talked about today, the trick shots, the workout exercise uh, session, now, it's time to talk about what Nighthawk has been up to on his channel for the past couple days slash week. So, for the past couple days, Nighthawk has been uploading videos about Minecraft. Minecraft was pretty popular back in 2019 when it was, well, it came out in 2009. Pretty popular until, I'd say, God knows how long. But then, a YouTuber known as PewDiePie started playing it a month later. Jacksepticeye started playing it, and then everyone was playing it. So basically, 2019 was the year for Minecraft. Now, Nighthawk has actually done four seasons of Minecraft. Unfortunately, the first three seasons were not the best. They didn't go on for a long period of time. They were recorded terribly. His fourth season, a lot of people kind of liked because it was still better and it had more progress, but it was still done on the PS4. A toll was, t uh, was taken on his Instagram page trying to see if he should do a fifth season of Minecraft, but if he should do it on the PS4 or if he should be doing it on the laptop. A lot of people said do it on the laptop and he's already, I think he's at, yeah, he's, a, he's what? He has four episodes uploaded and now he is actually gonna be working on episode five soon. So that's probably gonna be coming out later on today or sometime tomorrow. Also, um, he did a reaction video kind of about the new Spider-Man Miles Morales game that was shown to be on the PS5, which 
I cannot wait for that game to come out because as soon as that comes out, I will buy it. And everyone's always making these assumptions that, oh yeah, the PS5 or it looks like crap or the Xbox Series X or something like that. They're going to be taking or talking about all this uh, smack about it, saying it's so bad. But everyone who's talking about smack about it is just going to buy it anyway because they know they're going to like it because of all the cool games they're going to be showing on it. Like Spider-Man Miles Morales because that is such a cool looking game. And apparently they're saying it's going to be a standalone game, not a sequel to Spider-Man PS4. I say that that is uh, BS because there's no way that that's not a sequel. It has to be a sequel. So, um, also, in the past couple of days, well, not days, I'd say weeks, I should say, the last week or so, he's been uploading videos known as Until Dawn. He's also been uploading Pixelmon Journey, which is kind of like Minecraft, but with a mod added to it. So, he has about uh, 24 episodes recorded, but he's uploaded the first 10, I think. And Until Dawn, he actually did do Until Dawn for like the first, or when he first got it, he had like seven episodes, I think, on it. When he moved into the rental ha his rental house, he had about uh, seven episodes recorded, and then he made episode eight. Then, in this new house that we're in, he actually uploaded a few more videos, and he is going to get back into that, but he wants to do a little bit more Minecraft. And honestly, after, after this is all the videos recorded and edited, I'm probably going to play Minecraft again anyway. Um, like I said, th that's, that's pretty much all Nighthawk has been doing for the past couple of days, last couple of week, or last week or so. Um, nothing really new or interesting. This video will hopefully be interesting to some people. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, the trick shot videos are kind of weird. They're, they're interesting, but they are kind of cool. If you guys can give new places or new ways or new places in the house, I can tell him about it um i don't know where else to shoot shoot these videos because um this is just like a a type of i don't know i don't know what you want to call it i just moved my desk around specifically for this video but after i'm done editing it i'm going to turn it back around again until everything everything behind me right now is going to be moved over to where my tv is at because it's just apparently my desk fits over there and then we'll put the tv right here where everything is supposed to be at so, yeah. so, with that being said, this is going to be the end of Nighthawk News for today. I'm planning on doing these videos probably every Saturday. If you guys like them, I don't know if you're going to like them or not, but honestly, I had fun recording it. I mean, it took a few tries to, you know, actually get to where I wanted to be, but it was fun. I had fun recording this episode. And this is going to be the first episode known as uh, Nighthawk Films or Nighthawk News, whatever. Um, but yeah, I had fun. Uh, so th that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. And let me know if I should do these videos every Saturday. Let me know if you guys like the trick shot videos, the exercise video, um, basically the intro to this video, which is kind of strange. I don't know why I did that. Um, also, if you guys like this video, remember to share it with your friends and family so you can send them my way. I can show them cool videos like this one and we can continue to grow the channel together as a family, as a community, as one big group. That's going to be awesome. So, with that being said, remember to leave a like and subscribe. This is Nighthawk, and I'll see you guys in the next video, or next Saturday for Nighthawk News.